Okay guys, welcome back to part 3 of modeling a Conestoga wagon. This is uh, Mike Hermes at Image Tutorials and uh, in the first two parts, we uh, part 1 we did the undercarriage, part 2 we did the, uh, the main body and these arches and now we are going to finish up by creating the, uh, the canopy or whatever that thing is called. Okay, so for that what we're going to do is we're going to create a polygon pipe and we're going to drag that out on the grid. We're going to pull that up. And we are going to go into the attribute editor. We're going to increase the subdivisions to about 30. And we are going to increase uh, height division to about 10, uh, maybe 12, 12, yeah, OK. We're going to take that guy. We're going to hit E. We're going to rotate that by 90 degrees. Just check that, uh, where I'm at here, 90 degrees, okay. And we're going to cut part of that tube off. So we are going to right click, go to, uh, let me think, go to face. I got something else selected back there. That's not good, hang on. Okay, right click, go to face. I'm just going to drag this thing out of the way so I'm not deleting stuff that I modeled. Okay, right click, face, and we'll take that section here. Okay, let's see what we got. Something like that. Okay, right click, object mode. We're going to move that into position. Check from our top view. Okay. Let's see where we're at. Okay. Now, first we're going to hit R and we're going to scale that out. Something like that. And we're going to have it stick out a little at both ends. Okay. And we're going to check from this view here. And as you can see, we need to scale it in a bit. Hit W, move it over. Hit R, scale it in some more. Hit W, move it down. R, scale it in some more. And we should be getting close. Okay, not quite. Okay, and that is because we got a uh, height differences. So that's what we need to start tweaking now. Okay, so for that, we're going to go to this view here. And what we are going to do is we are going to right click and go to vertex. We're going to drag select these. And we're going to pull them down. Actually, I'm going to select a bit more. So pull that down. I'm going to pull that down. Even a bit further. I'm going to pull that down. And you know, you get the idea. We're going to try to create the kind of be shape here. And this one can go down a bit more. That one is roughly okay. We're going to take that one. We're going to push that down. That one looks okay. And that one we need to push down. Okay. So let's see what we got now and whether that looks a bit better. It's starting to look okay. Right. Now we need to make sure that we have these uh, set up okay. So for that, 
I am going to, uh, let me think, let me think. I'm going to take this and move it there. This, move it there. This, move it there. Uh, let me think, let me think. I need to maintain the same shape, so I'll take that one. That's a bit better. So we kind of get this line following these. And it's not supposed to be 100% perfect because, you know, it's the old west, right? Okay, now let's see what we can do here. I want to push them in. So just going to zoom in a little bit. And again, this is supposed to be cloth, so it's not supposed to be a hundred percent, if you know what I mean. Okay, to some extent, all right, we're going to drag these, we're going to push that in quite a bit, and we're going to start up here, we're going to push that guy down a bit, we're going to push that in. Yeah, there's not a lot of comments that I can give on this. It's just uh, repeating the process. It's a necessity, so not too much I can do about that. It is what it is. So let's see what we got so far. That is actually not even that bad, and neither is that. Now, what I'm going to give a try is shift right click. Uh, actually, go to object mode, shift right click, and smooth. And I actually like that. So we're going to keep that. I need to tweak some little things here in this corner. So right click vertex, just see what's going on there. And in itself, it's not a big problem if you consider that it's cloth, you know. But I can, what I can do is I can just uh, select these faces and get rid of them. And like I said in part one, uh, this is not uh, not a very, very detailed uh, modeling tutorial 
because it would take you know seven eight hours or so and uh, that's not my intention uh, the intention is to create something that will give you some modeling tips when creating your own right and you know the, the cleanup like I'm doing right now by removing these faces that is not something I would typically do but uh, anyway so this is the wagon um, maybe I can just clean this line up a bit I'm not too fond of this uh, line going all over the place right click vertex I'm just gonna make that a bit a bit more smooth I thought that that jagged edge look would be nice but to be honest I prefer it to look a little bit cleaner so that's what we're doing yeah looks a bit better okay let's see what we got okay so uh, this is our wagon and we're just gonna quickly uh, go to polygons mesh combine I'm gonna pull him up on the grid line like that and we're just gonna set up a very very quick scene just to create a ground plane here uh, okay that's our wagon create some lights point light one there control D one over there this is not necessarily part of the tutorial I just uh, never like to uh, leave it just the way it is so I'm gonna go to point light shape shadows use depth map shadows and we're going to zoom in on our wagon here like that I'm gonna go to my mental ray settings indirect lighting uh, quality 1.25 common tab HD 1080 and we'll just give this a quick render at least I hope it's quick It's not taking too long, so it's not that bad. I'll give it a few more seconds. Right, guys. This is uh, pretty much it. Um, yeah, hopefully it wasn't a, uh, a tutorial that was too long. Uh, I try to do it as quickly as possible. Uh, hopefully you learned something from it. If you've got any questions, as always, let me know. Thank you very much for watching. It's really appreciated, and see you guys next time. Bye.